Hello and welcome to another One Subject Films. This time I've chosen a very bizarre game called Rock of Ages. And uh, as you can see it's Monty Python-esque in its appearance. And they like to take film and movie references and historical references. Siamo un mero simulacro illusorio, prodotto in una dimensione ben più vasta e a noi aliena. Ogni azione da te finora è spletata e la risultanza, calcolata e progettata da loschi individui connessi ad un computiere. Il tuo unico scopo è intrattenere il volgo del mondo esterno. The squad relaxing chair doesn't have any. Conosciuto come video gioco. Yeah, this is obviously the cutscenes. Uh, the actual yep. game, which you'll see in a few seconds, is uh, very entertaining. Well, right, I'll start off on this part. Um, this is the only time I've actually managed to destroy the enemy's ball. So I thought I'd put that in the start just to show it is possible. <laughs> So, the idea of the game is uh, you have to set up defences to guard your little castle, which is where the enemy rolls towards, and you have an exact copy of the same map, which he gets to defend, and then you get to roll your ball down and try and knock his gate over. So the kind of defences is like little buildings which you can see now on the left. And if you smash them you get money, but the downside is downside is it damages your boulder and the more you damage the smaller it gets funny thing is that a couple of these um, things that you destroy are stuff that later on in Finchy don't create it yes that is true <laughs> So as you play the game, you go through different eras like medieval and renaissance and you know, all that kind of thing. And all the characters and towers and everything all reflect that era. And so as you see now, once you've hit the gate, the little people on the left there are digging you a new boulder. So while that's happening, you can attempt to knock their boulder off or destroy it, as you can see me now shooting at it and knocking it off a few times, just to slow him down a bit. I like it that you see it from his point of view as well. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. Also you can now at this point, on the, the if you notice there's darker coloured squares and lighter ones. The lighter ones is where you can place all your defences. But I chose to save my money for this big fiery ball because it just looks awesome. That looks amazing. Yeah. The only downside is this level has water, and the game developers did their research and figured out that water puts out fire, <laughs> which is a shame because the fireball does a lot more damage to the uh, buildings without damaging your ball as much. The water look I'll break you as well a bit. Yes, the water slows you down. Oh no, this is a big tower which pretty much stopped you. <laughs> you can see now the water slows you down. Yeah, quite You've a bit. Exploding sure. barrels and elephants and castles and oh, oh. there you go, I've lost a layer of rock. <laughs> but still have to blow the door down. And you've done it. So I thought I'd show you a boss fight as well, with the little intro. <laughs> with cannons. Quite a lot of humour in it. I like it. Oh, there's some very amusing cutscenes. You know, the scenery is well designed, the sounds are well designed. This game is definitely one of my little cheap favourites. 
You can get it on Steam, you can get it for Xbox, and PlayStation 3. And it's so, it's under a ten, right? Yes, cheap games. Euros and pounds. But... Was it about seven pounds nine nine? Something like that, yeah. No. Great game. That amount of money. Great. It's strangely addictive. It's so simple. I mean, rolling this ball around, it looks quite easy, but it feels like the ball's heavy when you're controlling. If you try to turn left and right, it's really sluggish. It's like you have to, you know, hold it to turn at times. But great fun running over people like that when they go. As you can see, the ball in here is now cracked from being shot everywhere <laughs> and being hit by these catwalks and exploding barrels and things. It's actually a small tactic what you're doing. That's actually really difficult to balance it on there. It yeah, it's all backwards. <laughs> oh, and the game controls are fairly simple. It's up, down, left, oh. right, jump. And then you can use the mouse to move the camera view a bit. This is the, the second boss I came across. The first one's a big dragon, which is actually harder than this one I found. That's just the way the game works. I suppose. I'm assuming there'll be more. I haven't finished the game yet. This is just, you know, just after I started. I mean, I found the game off of a Total Halibut film. He did a WTF is this game, and I thought I'd skip the levels he showed you and show you a few slightly later in the game. Yeah. Sound effects and the animatics both remind me of what the point? Oh, definitely. No, I skipped the first couple of ball rolls on this one because I kept falling off. As you can see, it gets harder and harder. And I'll take a few shortcuts here and there, as I do there. And I'll try another one in a second and just miss where I was trying to get to. Here, there's a lot more catapults and towers and things. Yeah. Wind machines that blow you off course, and exploding barrels, and oh my word, just elephants, and all kinds of weird things, cows. Uh. My game style is to try and avoid everything pretty much and just get to the bottom quickly. Well, that's my little video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, yep. doing the usual business. Thumbs up, August. Leave some comments. Thank you. Indeed.